Well, hi guys. I thought this time I would do a video about something I know all too well. Something I have been dealing with my entire life for as long as I can remember. Probably going all the way back to the age of five. And that is severe depression. It's something that plagues me every single year and has of every year of my life. And sometimes it seems as I get older it gets worse especially as the seasons change and winter is knocking at the door. Fall has always been the time of year when I fall into this depression. However, throughout the decades I've learned how to manage it without medications because a lot of the medications that they would put me on I've had adverse reactions to so I don't recommend being put on medicine of any kind for depression. What I have here is a list of the 10 things that I highly recommend to combat depression because I know so many people suffer with it. I've been diagnosed as a manic depressive and it's basically constant if I don't do the things that I've written down here. And so here we go. The first one out of 10 is the most important is to get active. Swimming is very good for depression. That's one of the best things for depression, as well as um, rolling up your pants. If you don't want to change into shorts, roll up your pants, take off your socks and shoes, and wade through an ice cold creek. Come out of that creek after you spend about 10 minutes in it, dry off your feet, put your socks and shoes back on, and with the dry pant legs, roll them back down, and then take a walk. You will not believe how awesome that feels. Believe it or not, that works great for depression. But get active, get outside, explore in nature and all the beauty there is to enjoy this time of year. As long as you stay active, it's gonna combat uh, depression. It's one of the best things that you can do. Number two, in the evening or at night, watch comedians. It's very healthy for you to laugh. Watch comedians that are funny, that make you crack up. That is very, very good for depression. Number three, a lot of people may not think of this, but it works for me and it works well. Watch people on YouTube who are worse off than you. I'm gonna give you two examples. Kensington, Pennsylvania. Watch videos on Kensington, Pennsylvania of all those druggies out on the streets with all the trash and the litter everywhere. That city is filthy. After you watch a few videos of those sad videos, you'll definitely feel better about your life. Also, I watch videos about Barrows, Alaska, which is the most northern town in the United States of America. It's right at the very top of Alaska. To me, it's the most depressing place you could possibly live on planet Earth. It's like Siberia. I hate winter, I hate the cold, and how those people live up there is beyond me. So when I watch videos about Barrels, Alaska, it makes me feel like I'm blessed beyond belief because I am. It just makes me feel like I'm more blessed because I live where I do and not up there. So it really makes me feel better about my life living where I do. Read and watch movies. Read books that you enjoy, whether they're fiction or true life stories, things like that. Uh, I read a lot of wildlife uh, books and stuff about the outdoors, that really helps. It seems like this goes hand in hand with depression that sometimes you'll wanna put on music that kind of fits the mood you're in. If you're depressed, you're gonna to listen to, to sad, negative type music. Stuff that will make you worse off and more depressed. Do not listen to any sad music. Music that's just really depressing, has depressing lyrics, songs about breakups, songs about missing somebody or something, stay away from that. Get out in public, surround yourself with other people, whether it's strangers, friends, family, get around other people. It's gonna help with your depression. Number seven, go window shopping. Get out in public, go to stores, and go and look at things. Check out things that you're interested in. Look at things that you like. If you're into shoes, go out and check out shoes. If I like to look at knives, so I'll go and check out knives. Number eight, crafts and hobbies. That's a big one. Uh, I like to tie flies, make lures. I like to draw. I used to play guitar, can't do that anymore. Um, but I like to uh, make things from nature out of bark and different wood like hiking sticks and stuff like that. 
that's a very good distraction. Basically this list, what it all boils down to you guys is distraction. The best thing for depression is distraction. Get your mind on something else, get out into the outdoors, get into hobbies, get into doing activities, exercise, doing the water uh, treatment like I told you of, go, of wading through a stream, uh, an ice cold stream and then putting your socks and shoes back on. I'm telling you guys, you would not believe how refreshing that is. Number nine, ask for God's help, prayer. Pray about how you're feeling, pray about your depression and ask for God's help that he will get you through it and take the depression away. It's very, very important to have spiritualism involved in what you're going through. Number 10, count your blessings and be thankful for everything God has blessed you with in your life. There again, that's the reason why I watch the videos on Barrows, Alaska. I watch videos on Kensington, Pennsylvania. Thankful that I'm not in those people's shoes. And then I made a side note here that this is a scientific fact that people who are perfectionists are more likely to be depressed due to the stress of always having to perfect everything. This is a category I fall in. I like my yard nice and neat. I like my landscaping tidy. I like the flowers looking good. I like everything done. I like the house clean, the laundry done. I'm, I'm, I border it on a perfectionist and they're right. It does, it does have a tendency to go with depression because you're always stressing about the things that still yet have to be done like nothing's ever good enough. So I've always been that way. So these are the things that I do, you guys. And let me tell you what, it works. But uh, if I had to take away two things from this list as far as what is the best thing for depression, it's getting out into nature, enjoying the great outdoors, and swimming and anything to do with water, whether it be fishing or just wading in the water or whatever. But I'll tell you what, when you get your feet wet in a cold stream and then put your socks and shoes back on and then take a hike through nature, you would, you would not believe how great that feels. It is absolutely wonderful. So if you guys suffer with depression like I do, especially this time of year, you know, when the leaves are changing, everything's getting beautiful and colorful and you know winter's coming and, and those melancholy gray skies with very little sunshine is coming for months on end, you must stay distracted. You must keep busy, you must do things and whatever you do, get out in nature. Don't let winter keep you in. I hope this helps you guys. This is how I deal with it. And I hope this is something that maybe you can try and see if it helps you with your depression. Thanks for watching you guys and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.